Oats can be one of the best meals for losing weight and keeping it off. But they can also sabotage your weight loss and even cause weight gain. It all depends on how you make it. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the do's and don'ts for salads. And I'll also give you one of my favorite go-to salad recipes. So stick with me to the end. A lot of people think that eating a salad is healthy and they don't put much thought into what they're eating. The truth is most of the typical ingredients in salads are unhealthy, like your croutons, your dressing, and cheese. And it has little or no nutritional value at all, like iceberg lettuce. Before we dive into what should be in your salad, let's talk a little bit more about what shouldn't be in your salad. For starters, stop using iceberg lettuce. Literally has no nutritional value. I'll give you some better options here in a minute. Next, avoid adding eggs and cheese. Yes, you heard me. Stop using dairy products, especially on your salads. Dairy has actually been linked to weight gain, breast cancer, colon cancer, and several other health issues. It's full of bad fat and serves your body no purpose. Avoid adding bacon bits or other types of meat to your salads. Did you know that by eating just two strips of bacon every day increases the risk of colon cancer by 20%? And the more you eat it, the greater the risk of dying from other cancers as well as heart disease. You'll also want to avoid croutons or anything else made with white flour. And when I talk flour, I mean white processed bleach flour. You see, white flour does not contain the micro and macro nutrients that you need to feel satisfied and full. It's literally stripped of all its nutritional value. So it's empty calories, leave it out. Stop adding ranch or other dressings to your salads. Again, we have unnecessary added saturated fat and empty calories. Instead, get some healthy fat from avocado, chia seeds, or ground flax seeds. When you make a salad the way I'm about to describe, you won't need a dressing, or very little. Which ingredient is hardest for you to avoid in your salads? Drop it in the comments below and let me know. I'd really love to offer some tips and encouragement. Now that you know what not to put in your salad, let's talk about what you should put in your salad. Start with a large amount of leafy greens, like spinach, kale, or arugula. Your goal should be at least 20 ounces a day to keep you satisfied, full, and feeling great. They're all superfoods and they're packed with tons of nutrients. Instead of dairy and meat for protein and fat, you can add things like garbanzo or kidney beans. Air fried tofu makes a great crouton substitute. Quinoa, millet, another remarkable source of protein. Sunflower seeds, flax or chia seeds, edamame, lentils, the list goes on. What about avocado? Next, add some fruits and vegetables like bell peppers, all kinds, red, yellow, orange, green, onions, sprouts, black olives, peas and carrots, tomatoes, mangoes, cucumbers, celery, berries of all kinds. The list is endless. Think of it as going to a salad bar and that's what you wanna have prepared in your fridge. When I tell people to stop using dressings, I often hear objections about how dry their salad will be without them. But here's the real secret. Salad choppers. Salad choppers help bring out the natural juices and marinates all the flavors together. I'll link my favorite salad choppers down in the description. Now, if it still seems a little dry, make sure you're adding avocado or try adding some pickle juice or lemon juice. They make great dressings also. One of my favorite go-to salad recipes is a kale salad. I start with two or three bunches of kale. I add a fourth to a half a cup of hummus. Massage your kale with the hummus. Add onions and bell peppers some red pepper flakes, you're good to go. And it's even better the next day. Then I like to top it with some nutritional yeast because it's packed full of your B vitamins. Lots of nutrition there too. When you make a salad like this and stop adding all the junk, you're getting a meal that's packed with all the nutrition your body needs, like protein, vitamins, mineral, and antioxidants. It's literally your vitamins in a bowl. Now I know there's a ton of info out there about how to lose weight and get healthy, and it can be very overwhelming. So I created a free beginner's guide that will spell out exactly what you need to do to get you started. Click on the link in the description and get your free copy today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click the little notification bell so you'll get notified when I post new videos. Now I wanna hear from you. What was the key takeaway you got from this video? Drop it in the comments below and let me know. I'll see you on the next video.